you a super simple way to get that morph transition look if you're not using the latest version of PowerPoint that's available on Office 365. Here's what the morph transition looks like. I've got slide 3 here, which is my original slide, and I wanted to switch to look to slide 4. So I have this transition set at morph for slide 4, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. Here we have slide 3, and when I click through, it animates and becomes slide 4. Morph makes that happen automatically. You don't have to deal with the animation toolbar or applying different effects. But not all versions of PowerPoint support it. And that's a problem because if you're creating slides for somebody else and you've put in a morph transition, when they look at it, it's just going to be a plain old transition and it's not going to have that movement to get the objects where you need them to be. So you can fake it with a video hack that I'm going to show you. The first thing you need to do is to save your file as, a, as something else. Save it as a work file. So I'm going to call it work file. And the reason you do that is so that you have the native files, files available if the client changes his mind later. Delete everything else except for the two slides that have that morph transition so that you're left with just the original slide and what you want it to morph into. Now here comes the good part. We're going to export it as a video. And I'm going to export it as a, an HD video. And I'm going to set the transition time to 1 because I want it to move pretty quickly. And I click on Create Video, call it Work File, and it's going to create that MP4 video. While that is rendering, I'm going to go back to that original file that I had and I'm going to delete those two slides that I extracted because we don't want them in there to get in the way and confuse the presenter because they are going to be replaced by a video file. We're going to put a new slide in there and insert a video from my PC and that's work file and in it goes. So how do you make this automatic? There are two things you need to do. First, and here's a little interesting trick, when you put your cursor in the progress bar, you can see how many seconds the video is. Go all the way to the end and you see that it's a 3.45 second video. So we go to transitions and we're going to make the slide automatically go at 3.45 seconds. That means that after the video ends, the slide will progress to the next slide. Next thing you need to do is make sure that this video plays automatically. You have the video selected, go up to playback, and click automatically. That's it. Now when we go to slide 2 and take a look at it in preview mode, you'll see that when we go to page down or we click, then this sequence appears and after it's complete, it automatically progresses to the next slide. And there's your video hack for getting that cool morph transition no matter what PowerPoint version you're using.